Triple Seven here, Rough Driver, doing another review. Today, I've uh, bought or purchased a cordless lawnmower. It's a push-along one. It's not uh, self-propelled, so but I don't need it for my garden. Um, my garden is in a bit of a state at the moment because I've had sciatica. So um, I have a petrol um, Briggs and Stratton, and it was playing up. Um, done the carburetor on it, but because I've got this. Helmet at the moment, sighting. I can't even pull the bloody mower, so I needed to buy an electric one. Anyway, that's enough of my stories and my woes. Yes, it's um, it's the coldest one, and it's the DL. It's an Echo, obviously. DLM 310 46, and it's a push along one. It's got an 18 inch deck that is uh, 46 centimeters. If you, if you want it in uh, new money, um, it comes with the kit. And if you bought the mower on itself, which obviously would be quite useless buying it on its own because it doesn't come with the battery or the kit, that is obviously £289. And if you bought the kit, it'd be £489. This is at its present time in 2023. This obviously this is going out on. Uh, what month we're in? We're in um, May. So that's the actual price at its present time. Obviously, it can go up and go down. You know, as technology goes on things get cheaper. Anyway, I bought this because, like I said before, I've um, got trouble with me um, sighting nerve at the moment, so I need something a little bit more let's put it like, easy on the actual um, starting and, and mowing. So, anyway, I've got the um, battery on charge at the present time. It's only come with one bar. There's this 40 volt lithium, and it says one hour. Now it's got indicators on there, which I will show you actually. I can see if I have to take it off to, uh, to press it out. I'll show you that in a minute. It's on charge at this present time. We get back to what it comes with. It, you, this, these batteries, I'm going to buy another battery. And the batteries to buy are 149. You can buy a 90 pound, 90 pound one, but obviously it hasn't got as much power as this one. So, and this this is the charger it comes with, it's just the one down there, and there's the battery it comes with, I don't know if you can see that, and that's the spec on that, but I'll say, so, I don't know how good this um, Echo will be, I've only just purchased it, and I'll try it, now, before we go on any further, I'm not sponsored by anybody, um, I'm not paid by anybody, so, this is just an honest review, I'm going to use it today, and see how it works out, my garden is a complete mess. But like I say, I've had sciatica, so I couldn't go out with the uh, petrol mower. Couldn't even start it up. The pain was terrible. Anyway, like I say, enough of my woes. Let's go out and see the uh, actual um, lawnmower. It's quite a nice looking one. As you can see, it's a 46 centimetre there. That's an 18 inch deck. So if you're doing it in inches or centimetres, that's it. It comes the push button start there. Obviously, you press that in, and then you press that to get it going. It's also got adjustable handles now, and obviously, it folds down as well. So you undo this, and that will drop down. So you can adjust adjust this for when you're putting this in your car. And it's got a nice little thing here as well. You pull these out, as you can see. And there's three little clicks in there. Shall I put it back in? That's the one sitting at the moment. So it's in setting two. But you've got three settings there. All depends how tall you are or how short you are. Grass box will go on there. I'll show that in a minute, putting that on. It's a steel deck. It's not plastic. It's all it comes with safety device. I wish I had a little rod on there to hold that up, but it hasn't. So it's going to come crashing down. I'll let that go. That's the safety device. So if you pull that out, the mower won't go. So, you know, if you've got kids around and things like that, and for safety reasons for yourself, if you do any maintenance on the blade, there's no chance that going on. But you have to go through that system up there first before anything happens. And uh, let's go around to the actual 
Now, it's got a seven adjusting pipe on it, so it goes right down to one, two, three, four, five, you can see it going up, six, and that's up seven. Now, that's the grass I'm going to cut, and you can see it is well up. But like I say, I haven't had a chance to get out there due to my ailment. And uh, I bought this, so we don't, I won't know how good this is until I put it in its paces. Now the battery does last 45 minutes, I reckon, on a charge. Remember, they, this, these tests are done running without any, um, what's the word? Uh, i trying to think of the word, resistance. They're done on a, a dry surface with the, obviously the actual mower. It's, uh, probably um, handle held in there, you know, probably wire tied, I suppose, and left to run till it runs out. So that's how they test them, I believe. You know, they've probably got, a, well, then again, they might have another way of testing it, but if I was running something, I'd, that's how I'd run it to see how long you get with it. But remember, then there is no resistance, that's what I've read. Anyway, um, it looks a nice, um, like I say, it's an Echo. It looks a nice mower. Um, like I say, it's got a steel bottom, most of them have got plastic. And it looks like a massive engine, doesn't it? But obviously it's not, it's just the, where the battery goes. Now you can get a spare battery, which goes in there as well with it, which I'm gonna buy, because I don't really wanna use it. And um, that battery's getting all the charging, so if I alternate, now another battery is 145 quid. Grass box on now, just take it off, show a demo. It is so simple. Here we go. In there. On there. So simple. Then you put the cover back. And that's that. And it's on. That's very easy. Very pleased with that. There's seven cuttings on there. The wheels look pretty good. Springs look hardy. On there for the old thing, bits and pieces. So another 20, another 10 minutes and we'll be out mowing, see how it goes. All right, I'll press the button at the back here and you see the four bars, I don't know if you can see the four bars. Right, we're gonna press it again. That's charged up, now it's been about an hour. I'll put it on about 20 past 11, you know, 20 past 12, so let's get it off. Yeah, you press that button, let's put that down. I don't know if you can see that. Press that button underneath there and pull it out. Then we're going to put this in the mower, so bear with me. I'm going to put the battery in, which goes, as you can see there, it slides in. That's in. The thing I don't like is this top. It doesn't, it ain't got a suspender to hold it up. Safety button there. Alright, let's put it on. Let's adjust it up. Right, let's try again. See that. See me working it.
to see how many bars that's gone down to. Oh, it's gone down two bars already. That's not good, is it? Well, the deck is quite full. Just took the grass box out, so I'm going to empty that. Just going to see how much battery life left still. But it has been heavy going. It's still on two. Maybe it's never long enough, I don't know. But it did say fully charged. So we'll see how it goes. I might have to charge it back up again. Now that's only what, 10 minutes stop. It's only right, been here 10 minutes, so the grass was really long. It has cut it down quite well. We'll see how it goes. It's down to one bar now. And that's after about 10, 15 minutes. But grass was long. The only thing is, I do, is the button thing. You have to press that in. And then wait for that to get in. And that engages. But for a long cut, it ain't done too bad. I'm going to put it on back charge, but I would say buy another battery. But don't let your grass grow too long. Because it does take it a lot out of it. Remember, this is nearly six inches high. Well... I'll put it back on charge, it's down to one. We'll go back out in the garden in a minute. Now that was really long, that grass was at least about six inches high. So it is, gave the battery a bit of a bashing. It's a lot of strain. Remember when they test these mowers, they're not tested in grass. They're tested on a hard surface, the batteries. Now it didn't take long to actually uh, uh, charge up. I think it was just 60 minutes, it was 60 minutes. But I will say, buy another battery for this machine. Um, another thing I will say about the actual Echo, let's go outside. It's a little bit heavy to push, so I say a little bit heavy. It all depends if you're going uphill. If you've got a flat ground, ain't too bad. It's a bit weighty, but it is because it's a metal deck. But it's got some good parts about it. It does turn quite well. But you can see the grass before, it's going to have to have another cut. And that's on cut seven. So I'm going to put it on cut three and see the end, end product. But it's going to take at least another um, hour. So 15 minutes out here. But it's, it's killed the battery quite a bit, to be honest. But that was very long grass. It hasn't been touched. Oh, it's about two months growth on it. So don't let it get that far. I reckon it'd be ideal. This mower would be ideal for normal grass, you know. At least about an inch, two inch. Keep it down. Anyway, let's we'll see how it goes. Right, we're back to four bars. So I'm going to put it back in. This is for a lower cut now. I'm going to put it on three. And see how it um, goes. It's on seven at the moment. It's a seven cut. I'd like say it lasted about 15 to 20 minutes, really. But it was a lot of grass. I was six, over six inches high. Could be about eight. All right, let's go out and put this in. Going to empty the uh, grass box quite full. Quite full, so uh, batteries on four, so empty this out. Right, I'll put this on setting four now, and uh, see how it goes. All right, I'm going to put it on four, so I'll leave that going.
and I've been out here 15 minutes, no more than that, and uh, that was on a lower cut, and uh, the battery doesn't last that long. I say you get 20 minutes out of it, you need another battery, and it does go through, I must admit, but if I think if you keep the lawn to what it is, you know, a reasonable spec, then I think you would be alright, mine's only a small lawn, I wouldn't get anything. Um, pushing it uphill, I wouldn't buy this, push it uphill if you're um, infirm or old. Um, I've got a small garden, um, probably need two batteries, maybe three probably, which is under £45 at the time, so I'll say it marks out of 10, I'll give it 8, to be honest. It's not bad, but um, a smaller garden, um, a large garden. Um, you, you're going to need at least three batteries, I reckon. Pushing it um, ain't too bad. It's, it's a heavy uh, chassis on its metal, but um, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, I bought it because obviously I don't want to pull start a petrol mower again because of my ailment at the moment. So but it's done the job, as you can see from what it was. It's done the job. But I will buy another battery. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, like I say, this is the Echo DLM 310 46P G Series Plus. Now, I don't know if you can get higher resolution batteries, I don't know, but I haven't done the mulching yet. It fills up quite quick. Um, I had to empty that three times, but you see the grass, it was nearly about 8 inches high. So, for its first cut, it's not too bad, but the batteries don't last very long, I must admit. Thanks for watching and uh, tune in for another video. This is Rough Driver signing out and uh, see you soon.